Hello everyone, this is me and Warm the Conqueror 3, and this is my second vlog of 2015 on March. Sorry I haven't made a vlog since last month, guys, but it's not usually a vlog, it's a movie review. I'm going to talk about the two films I saw this year, such as London Has Fallen and the movie I saw today, 10 Cloverfield Lane. What's the difference about these two movies is that one movie, it's has lots of exciting action taking place in this amazing city I've been to on January. And the other movie takes place in America, in, in the American South. Ted Cloverfield Lane has no similarities to the first Cloverfield movie. I don't even know why. It's not even about a big ass monster attacking the world and stuff like that like in the last Cloverfield movie. Remember the last Cloverfield movie that came out? Ten, about ten years ago, I mean eight years ago, I mean. It was such an intense movie when I saw Cloverfield at the age of 12. I even made a Lego film about Cloverfield. But I cannot make Lego films based on the movies I saw this year. But I want to review you the movies I saw this year. So, 10 Cloverfield Lane doesn't have any actors I know. But the only actor I know is John Goodman. Like you know him from Monsters Inc. He played Sully. But this guy is a dark version of Sully. Well, a kind of similar storyline to Monsters, Inc. in general. Ted Cloverfield Lane tells the story of this young girl who, like, leaves her apartment and just goes into some place to meet her boyfriend and stuff like that until she crashes into the middle of nowhere and she wakes up in this mysterious room where she is abducted by John Goodman. It's like a freaking horror movie or some crap like that. Where's the freaking monster? Why do I have to watch a movie about a girl being inducted by some creepy old ass dude? But it's a very interesting movie to watch. It's kind of like a mystery film. But where's the freaking monster for crying out loud? And I don't want to say that. Never mind that. And John Goodman was excellent playing this guy who's ahead of the bomb shelter and the chemistry between John Goodman and the other characters is very well very well pretty good I mean pretty good and also the bomb shelter where they live looks really interesting I really want to have a bomb shelter like that It kinda looks like Fallout in my opinion John Goodman's character he's like some type of murderer creepo who murders young women for no, absolutely no reason. But half of it's kind of boring to watch until you get to the ending. It's absolutely scary and amazing. The movie is very scary. Even more scarier than the last Cloverfield movie. Why does this movie scare me? Well, there's this one part in the movie, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie, where the girl's like inside this vent where she's being a where she's being chased by John Goodman's character. And that scared the crap out of me how his knife got through the metal. Scary, isn't it? Scary indeed. So far, Cloverfield Lane, 10 Cloverfield Lane, it's a scary, excellent movie. You should guys should check it out. But I don't know if it's better than the first Cloverfield movie, but I think Cloverfield 1 was good. And this one's okay, in my opinion. But it's a good storyline, good characters. It has lots of good themes about survival and tons of great action and lots of scary stuff going on in that movie. And tons of great special effects too. In addition to that, I'm going to reveal you the movie I really want to see was London Has Fallen. It's a lot better than the first one because it takes place in this really interesting city. I really love going there in my trip to Europe on January. And this time, Gerald Butler and the president were trying to attend the prime minister's funeral. And two a group of Pakistani dudes start killing all the world leaders, creating havoc around London. So it's up to Gerald Butler and the other guy to survive. And really good f action! Tons of good special effects. I don't know why people are saying this movie is so bad, but it's interesting to watch. But my problem is, where is the Hamley store? Where it's Harold's? One of my favorite places in London, like the Imperial War Museum and stuff like that. 
You know what, guys? Well, these guys should check out One Thing Has Fallen. It was good. Gerald Butler is excellent in it. And the other guy who plays the president was excellent, too. They have a good chemistry. And the villain is so much better than the previous villains. The previous villains are just a bunch of dumbass North Koreans. This one guy is Pakistani. I don't want to tell you the spoiler of that movie if you haven't guys seen it. And that is my not view for London Has Fallen and 10 Cloverfield Lane. This is Warm to Conqueror 3. See you next time!